Hey everyone, welcome back to another OMA TCG video. This is Tommy and today we are going to be taking a trip to Japan because I would like to go dragon hunting. Just a reminder, I will be going live for the first time on the 1st of September to announce our winner to our $150 voucher. Um, I will be doing my very first live stream as we open our doors to OMA TCG. If you guys would love to take part, it's going to be streamed live on our Facebook page. So please be sure to like our Facebook page, uh, sign up to the newsletter so that you get an entry into this amazing drawer. Um, and we will see you at 9 p.m. Sydney time. That is 9 p.m. Sydney time. We will see you guys at our live draw events. We may do a couple of giveaways uh, while we're there. Hell, uh, let's have some fun. Uh, so remember, 1st of September, 9 p.m. Sydney time, Facebook page, we will be going live to draw our winner. So, my very first Japanese booster box on the channel, I am actually very excited. It actually is a set that I'm super, super keen to open. Um, I, I'm definitely looking for a Rayquaza. I do love Rayquaza, but actual fact is I love Dragonite. You know, I love um, Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. So Dragonite was my second being obviously a dragon uh, Pokemon as well, or called Dragon. I had Dragon in his name because obviously Charizard looks like <laughs> a dragon, even though he isn't a dragon. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, I, I really would love to get myself that my hands on one of those alternate art Dragonites, uh, you know, realistically any of the Dragonite uh, in this set, I'll be super, super happy. Uh, that's going to be my personal chase card is to hopefully get that alt art Dragonite V. Um, but um, that being said, uh, I'm super excited to see what this uh, gives us. Look, you know, this is my first Japanese set. I, I do understand they only come with five cards in each booster. Um, so it's going to be a bit different. It's not a guaranteed in every booster either. So it is pretty much the luck of the draw. So, you know, fingers crossed there's some good stuff that we pulled today on camera or else it's going to be very disappointing. But hey, at the end of the day, you know, whether we pull or whether we don't pull doesn't really bother me. I'm just having fun opening packs and I know exactly that's why you guys do it is to, to, to for that excitement to be surprised when you guys pull something awesome. So let's not waste any time. Let's get opening. Wow, look at that pack art. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to be able to be opening this one as my first Japanese booster. Look at that. Those wings look absolutely sick. All right, this is going to be so exciting. Oh, even the box is nice. Oh, seriously, I got to admit though, the um, the pack art is, is absolutely gorgeous. Like it, it's, Rayquaza is just on another level, really. The green is just so cool. All right, well, you know, obviously we came here to open some packs, so uh, this is gonna be good. All right, let's get opening. First set. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. This is this is gonna be absolutely exciting. Um, let's get that out of the way. This is gonna be absolutely awesome. Let's see what we get to pull today. Ah, my first Japanese set. Man, this is awesome. Even the packs are different, you know what I mean? So you know, this is very exciting for myself. I'm very keen to see what we get today. I do believe it is the one card trick. So let's see what our first pack gives us today. I can already tell you, it looks like there is going to be fire on the first turn. <laughs> Here we go. And our first hit is going to be... Oh, it's just a hollow. Oh, but look at that. That is absolutely amazing. That is beautiful texture. And we will sleeve that one straight away. All right, on to our next pack. Here we go. Next pack. Very nice. Let's see what our second pack is. So one card to the back, and we have <coughs> Pokeball, Sandshrew, Chansey, and oh, I don't know what that is. All right, next pack. Nothing, no hits just yet. 
let us see what we can pull in the next one. Here we go. All right. Here we go. As we go hunting for a Dragonite. And we have another Hollow Victini. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Our second Hollow for the pack. All right. Love it. Here we go. We have another pack. Let's see see what comes out of this one. I'm actually still not used to the way the um <clears throat> she's still not used to the way the packs work in Japan. Like it's so odd because like you're just not guaranteed um a rare. So you kind of get to the last kind you like you're like, "Oh my god, what is it? What is it?" And then it's like, "Oh wait, is it just an uncommon?" Like like literally like that. You <laughs> is switch uh, as your last card, right? Um, but you know, that is, um, I guess, you know, the fun part about Japanese sets. And I think that's why some people enjoy opening Japanese sets. But you know, for me, this is a brand new experience. Um, obviously, you know, I rely a lot on the English uh, to be able to read the card names. So obviously I don't know a lot of the card names, um, you know, Flaffy there. Oh, I have no idea what that is, but it looks cool. And it's another holographic, so I will take it. Yeah, so like just obviously, you know, um, there's so many names to remember, um, and I'm old school, you know what I mean? So I grew, I grew up, I grew up with the uh, original 150, and you know, I made it my mission to remember every single one of those names, and you know, keeping up with the generations. I think I got to about Gen four. It was Gen four when I stopped um, uh, playing Pokemon, because obviously, when you play Pokemon on uh, on your, on like uh, with my Game Boy and everything, that was uh, that was obviously. Oh, this is gorgeous! Look at that artwork. That's another Dragon type as well. It's absolutely sick. Um, you obviously um, focus on remembering all their names. You know what I mean? So for me, it was always a, a it was always fun to, to to play on the Game Boy. But you know, in the end, um, you know, I lost touch of of the games um, and. That's when I kind of like stopped uh, and I kind of forgot a lot of stuff uh, about Pokemon. Um, and obviously, I was collecting on and off here and there, but um, obviously. Oh, Rayquaza, you make an appearance! <laughs> My first Rayquaza. Hello, Rayquaza V. Wow. Uh, Pokemon in general, like, I, I actually have like the entire. DVD set like up to the current um, season, um, but I actually stopped watching uh, after season. Oh God, what season did I? Um, I think it was like season fifteen. Um, I I just it's not that I lost interest. It's just that I just didn't have time, and I was um, I was doing a lot of other things. So it was uh, it was unfortunate because I, I I did love the anime and that's what kept me up to date with a lot of the um, names of the Pokemon and uh, um, I'm just glad that uh, I get to enjoy it again now that I'm uh, older and uh, can look back and enjoy the nostalgia you know I at least can pride myself in saying that I was a Wizard of the Coast kid um, and I enjoyed Pokemon cards uh, right at the beginning when it first came to Australia. So um, all this new stuff is, is still very new to me um, and you know me getting back into the passion but that's why I'm a casual collector and oh that's cool so when he is a hollow he's a rare but when he's just normal he's an uncommon that's pretty cool. That's, that's something I'm learning about Japanese sets right now. That's 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 sick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna power through these uh, and see what we get. Because obviously you only get five cards, which is quite interesting, um, personally for myself. But uh, let's see what we get. Cloister. That's pretty cool. Pansia and some gloves. I don't know what gloves. Um, <laughs> I should, I should, should probably learn, but uh, it's all good. I just like opening packs. I just like opening packs. All right, here we go. 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 Okay. What do we have? Ooh, nothing there. And we move on to the next one. We are going to go quickly uh, in this video. 
hopefully uh, everyone's got their evolving skies orders in um, I'm waiting very very excitedly for my own personal one um, because I'm going to power through a ton of evolving skies um, again I'm hunting that alternate art Dragonite um, because that is my favorite of this set um, I really want a Dragonite V alternate art oh tornadoes that's very cool I honestly want a uh, an alt art Dragonite if I can get one um, even tonight if I could get like a full art that'd be pretty cool uh, any full art of any kind even a trainer some secret rare of some kind would be really cool um, oh Chansey look that's that's an, honestly that is a gorgeous art Chansey. All right, and Sentru, and we have, oh, that is so cool. Wow, Salamence. Jeez. Man, the dragons are really bringing the fire this time around, that's for sure. I am going to sleep that afterwards. That is very cool. That is very, very cool. Okay, let's keep going. I noticed that you obviously powered through the Japanese cards very quickly. Um, I also noticed that um, you know the Japanese cards feel a little bit thinner than the Western cards, which is quite which is quite different um, in my hand. Oh, those are gorgeous nine tails, seriously. Um, oh, Sinus. Um, yeah, so I, they feel they feel a little bit thinner, um, and it's a little bit glossy, uh, but not that much. Uh, but yeah, it does definitely feel different from the uh, English cards. I don't know if that's just me. Um, but yeah, they do They do definitely feel different, um, but a nice different, you know what I mean? So it, it's just a different feeling. They, they're a little bit more malleable. They feel more like actual um, like uh, poker cards, you know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. And uh, we have a lollipop or a popsicle. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Let's go in. Just enjoying. I just I love these art ways. Some of these art ways are so so good. All right, and we here have Chubby Boy. I was, <laughs> I swear to God, broccoli head. <laughs> oh, it is a Gyarados. It is a God. I forgot Gyarados is in this one. I actually don't have any Rayquaza cards except for the amazing rare stuff that you get from Vivid Voltage. Um, so it is nice to at least get something other than um, than those, which will be quite interesting. Hey, Chansey! All right, let's see if we get some more. Oh, we got some more gloves. All right. Oop, oop, oop. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Some more Japanese Pokemon. Here we go. Chubby boy and our broccoli head, Sanshu. There we go. No, nothing there. I love Japanese. All right. This is absolutely an awesome stadium. It is going to be so OP, I reckon, in the game. But. Wow. Wow. Rayquaza V Alt Art. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we pulled him. We pulled him. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I really love the alt arts that are coming out in the current sets. I really, really love the alt arts coming out. I just... This one isn't perfect. It's like not the most centered, but when we're talking like literally half a mil at most towards this side, but <sighs> I don't care. I'm gonna get this graded, stick into a slab, 
Wow. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I honestly don't know what, um, like obviously I'm a newbie when it comes to Japanese cards, um, but I don't know what like the pull rates are in a box. You know what I mean? Like, do you get how many? Do you how many alt arts do you get? How many uh, secret rares do you get? How many hollows do you get? How many V cards do you get? Like, I have no clue. Um, so realistically, <laughs> that that in itself is <laughs> it's just. It's a surprise, it's a surprise after surprise for me right now. I am just enjoying myself. <laughs> this is, uh, Japanese. Japanese Pokemon. Out of all the cards to pull, Rayquaza V, Alt Art. I would have loved it to be the Dragonite, but I will take a Rayquaza V Alternate Art. Um, it is, oh, just, I'm still. I'm still. Still getting. <laughs> still getting to turn. I'm looking at it at the. I'm look. I'm looking at it like on the table. Like I'm still trying to catch my breath. Um, that I pulled it. I. It's just oh, oh, <laughs> absolutely amazing. I, oh, Volcarone. <laughs> Uh, actually, I'll, I'll be honest. This is actually a really good artwork of, of the of the bug. I, I have to admit, it is <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. But oh, nothing is going to be um, as good as that Rayquaza, unfortunately. Unless I get the V Max. But even still, um, I think I've I think I've peaked. I, I think I have <sighs> I've peaked. I think that that is it. We are. We're on cloud nine right now. Cloud nine. Um, let's see if we are lucky to get anything, anything good. And we, oh, look at that. The tree guy. And I have honestly no idea what he's called, uh, but <laughs> we bought a VMAX. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, All right. Anything else? Anything else for me? <gasps> I know it's not the alt, but it still requires a VMAX. Yeah! Oh, this card is going to be OP in standard form. I already saw, I've already seen some amazing decks being constructed. Um, and I think this is going to be another powerhouse deck. Uh, Rayquaza VMAX is definitely going to be a powerhouse Pokemon. Ah, oh, but God, that is, that is absolutely gorgeous. That's a gorgeous looking card. I am definitely starting to be a Rayquaza fan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, let's keep going. We are almost to the end of our box, uh, which is already given me so much. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to recover from this one. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of days to enjoy um, <laughs> my amazing pool <laughs> before I get back into it. Um, that actually being said, I do have some cards um, that are coming back in the mail from uh, TCG Grading. Um, TCG Grading obviously is my go-to grading for Australia. Um, we have a few amazing cards from my collection that have gone off to be graded. I'm actually very excited to see what they come back as. Uh, so uh, in the next video uh, for Saturday, I will be revealing um, what I got uh, graded and what grades uh, they came back as. So very keen, very keen to see. And obviously we'll have some more cards to send them thanks to our Rayquaza. Um, all right, uh, what a night. Ah, cloister. Okay, last pack. Last pack. What are you gonna give me? I feel like it's gonna be nothing, but you know, let's see uh, if we get anything exciting in our last pack. Last pack, all right. Can I get a Dragonite, please? Dragonite. Dragonite does whatever Dragonite does. Oh, it's black. 
it's it oh. Oh, it's just a tree guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, at least uh, at least I got the pair, right? The V and the V Max. Uh, not the card I wanted, but I'll take it. Ah, uh, but you know what? Hey, who gives us stuff? Because this guy is the reason we do what we do. Oh, requires a V alt art. Oh, that's so good. So good. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I actually had a blast opening my first Japanese booster box. Uh, obviously it's very, very different uh, experience to opening my English sets, but uh, you know, obviously I can't read Japanese, which is uh, like, honestly, I wish I could. I really do, I love anime. So that kind of sucks, but you know, realistically it is a very different experience and you know, not being able to pull a card every single booster is, is very different. But hey, we pulled a banger tonight. We actually got all the Rayquazas here. So we've got the standard Rayquaza V, the Rayquaza V Max and the Rayquaza V alternate art all we're missing was the you know the v max alternate art which would be even like i'd be off the chains right now but if you honestly enjoy what you saw tonight please hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well there's obviously going to be plenty more content to come um be sure to also hit that notification bell icon as i upload videos on a daily basis with my shorts as well as uh weekly with my long videos like this one but also don't forget first of september the store opens don't forget all the information is in the description below and until the next one this is tommy Peace!